Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get objects based on a property and how you can use that to count how many of a certain type of object are in a scene. So first let's look at what we'll have at the end of this tutorial. In this scene we have five cubes, three of which are red, two of which are gray. The three red ones all have the property prop on them. In the camera, we're running a script called Exterminate, and we're pulsing through that. And this script is basically just counting how many objects in the game world have the property prop. And it's then applying it to the property red cubes. We have the debug properties in the top left, so we can see that red cubes is equal to three, which is correct. And I also have one of the cubes set to be destroyed so if I hit the one key that cube goes away and you'll see red cubes is updated to say only two now and we can do all sorts of stuff with these cubes uh, that we want if we want to do something separate with them from the gray cubes so to get started we're going to fire up a new blend file we're gonna switch from blender render to blender game next we're going to split our 3d window switch that to a text editor you can drag up the bottom window, add in a logic editor. We're then going to duplicate our main cube, and we're going to recolor this one to differentiate it. So let's make this one red. Oh, I accidentally made them both red. So let's just reset that guy. Now I'm going to add a property to our red cube to make it different. I don't really have to rename it, but I can if I want. So next I'm going to duplicate this red cube just a few times around the scene to make sure we have a few of them. Same with the gray cubes. And then on this red cube, I'm going to add a keyboard sensor. I'll just do the space bar, add an AND controller, and an edit object actuator. This edit object actuator is just going to end object. And this is just so we can see the number update from the camera. In the camera, we're going to add an always sensor, turn on pulse mode, add a Python controller, and this is where we're going to attach our script. So if you're not into the scripting side of Blender, go ahead and click the annotation to skip the scripting part. Otherwise, let's dive right into the script. So we're gonna do new, and I'm going to name this uh, something like count cubes. Of course, we need to import the Blender game engine, so from BGE, import logic. And I'm actually going to turn on syntax highlighting and the line numbers. On the next line, we're going to put in scene equals logic dot get current scene, open parentheses, close parentheses, and that is getting the current scene we're in. Then I'm going to type in obgs, objs equals scene dot objects. And that's getting all of the objects in the game scene. So we want to be able to count how many cubes in our scene have a certain property. So to do that, we're going to use a for loop and a property named count. So a few lines down, we're going to do count equals zero because every time we want every time we run the script we want to start the count at zero. Next we're going to do a for loop so for item in objs so for every item that is in the list of objects in the game scene we are going to check to see if it has a certain property in it. So we're going to do if quotation or apostrophe and then the property that we want to look for. So for this instance we're using the property prop and then we're going to do a close apostrophe, and then we're going to do in item, just like that. Do a colon to indicate the end of the line, and next what we're going to do is count plus equals one, so that it'll add one to our count property here. And this is where we would put anything else we want the objects to do. So for instance, if we wanted to have them change their color, we could do item dot color equals and then the standard game color so we could do uh, 0 comma 1 comma 0 comma 1 
for uh, green because this is a simple RGB scale. So we have R, G, B, and then alpha. So if you go down a few lines, we now want to assign this to a property on a game object so it's usable elsewhere. So to do this, we're going to do objs, open bracket, apostrophe, and then I'm going to use the camera. So camera, apostrophe, close bracket, open bracket, apostrophe, and then the property that we want to assign it to. So let's do uh, counted, apostrophe, close bracket. And then we have to add that property to the camera as well. So I'm going to add the property counted there. It's going to be an integer. And I'm going to turn on debug mode. And then I'm also going to turn on debug mode up here in the game submenu. So if we play the game, nothing happens. And that's because we forgot to attach our script to the controller. So let's do that. Hit play. And now we see all of the cubes changed green. Uh, but for some reason, counted hasn't done anything, and that's because we told it not to do anything. <laughs> so on this last line here, we need to add in equals count, just like that. Hit play. Cubes are green. Counted is three. And if we hit spacebar, one of the cubes disappears, and we get counted equals two. All right, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.